Hi, my name is Vanessa Seha, and I'm the Community Affairs Coordinator with the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. Some of the signs parents should be on the lookout for if they think their child is using pills is if they start to become very withdrawn. So if they have changes in their sleeping patterns, in their eating patterns, maybe changes in the way they dress, changes in their behavior. How are they doing in class? Has there been a drop in their grades or participation? All of those things will point to something being wrong. And that may be a sign that they need to intervene and really get to the bottom of what's going on. From the beginning, a parent should be talking to their kids about prescription drugs. They should be talking to them about drugs in general. And this is especially important with pills because pills can be accessible in anyone's home. Um, and if parents haven't taken the proper precautions to put them in a safe place that's locked away, they could be accessible to a child that just doesn't know better. The best way to store your medicine in your home is to make sure that it's in a locked place, a place that isn't gonna be accessible to your children and that you will be the only one that has access to. And that also relates to the child that these are serious things and that my parent is the only one that's allowed to handle them in my home and same thing outside of the home. Hi, my name is Jennifer Lewer and I'm the Communications Director for the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. Vaping is really a tough behavior to identify because it can be done in secret. If your child starts to have behavior changes, mood swings, loss of appetite, sleeping more, while we may think it's just nicotine that's in a, a vape, kids can become addicted to it. They may initially use it to fit in with a crowd, and then they realize that it's calming for them. But this is one of the most dangerous things that adolescents can do is to begin an addiction to nicotine. It, and parents need to have those conversations with their kids about it. What we have now is young people using a substance that they should have never had access to in the first place. And e-cigarettes are just as dangerous as cigarettes. The chemicals that are in these devices are dangerous. And the way that the devices heat the chemical in order to create the vape is detrimental to your health. And it's important to understand that so you can talk to your child in an educated manner about what this, how this could impact their body. And when you give them the information, they're gonna be able to make a more informed decision because to be honest with you, we're not with our kids 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so we have to provide them information and let them make good choices. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office wants to make sure that communities know that we are also here as a resource, that they can reach out to us if they have questions about how they can help keep their families safe. We work and do online safety presentations for free and those are available on our website.